annual citywide art show and youth in arts night my name is kate blair i'm the art resource teacher leader i'd like to thank everyone for attending today before we begin i'd like to invite all of the administrators and school board members that are here to stand and receive a round of applause we thank them for their continued support of the arts in the dearborn public schools I'd also like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Glenn Maleko, for his support. He is continuing the tradition started by Brian Whiston of selecting one work from the show to be framed and displayed in his office for the next year as the superintendent award. Is Dr. Maleko here? Give him a round of applause anyway. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask all of the art teachers to stand and be recognized for their tireless dedication to the students and enthusiasm in working to foster their creativity. I'd like to thank them personally. I'd like to thank them personally for the support and the inspiration they give me as the art resource teacher leader. Now, I would like all of the young artists who are here to stand and be applauded for their outstanding creative accomplishments that we celebrate today. We also wish to express our gratitude to our supportive parents for volunteering at school, being field trip chaperones, donating all the beautiful stuff that is used to create art objects, and bringing their students here to our art show opening. This outstanding display of student work and your attendance at these opening ceremonies is evidence of the strong support of the arts in the Dearborn community. We must express our gratitude to Emma Jean Woodyard and the Dearborn Community Fund, Ralph Valdez and the Dearborn Community Arts Council, the Dearborn Education Foundation and the Dearborn Parks, Department of Parks and Recreation. These organizations help to bring the arts to our students through today's events and many others. Another such event is the Sculpture Initiative. This year, the Sculpture Initiative hosted workshops for fifth graders from Duval, Lindbergh, River Oak, Oaks, and Maple Schools. The artists in residence were Anne Gautreau, Teresa Lucias, and Elroy Grandy. Selected sculpture and poetry produced by the participating students is on display in the lobby. Um, it's the side of the lobby that's more toward the, uh, the gym. Other exciting events include Best of Show Awards from the Michigan Student Film Festival for films created by students from Duval and Lindbergh schools, STEAM classes, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math at Snow School and Salina Elementary. At Edsel Ford High School, students are crafting bowls for their empty bowls event planned for next year. The advanced painting and drawing students are creating a mural in the main entrance, and Ms. Daly is heading up a third successful yearbook. At Howard Elementary, all students grades one through five are taking part in a Dale Chihuly style installation for their new front doors. Each year, art teachers have the daunting task of choosing between 10 and 20 student creations for this show, depending on the size of the school. This exhibit is not a contest. It is a representation of the tremendous talent here in Dearborn. Each student who has work here today will receive a certificate and a ribbon, which will be, which will be given to him by his or her art teacher. Each year, a person who has knowledge 
and experience with children's art is asked to choose several works to represent the students of Dearborn in the annual Dearborn Artist Show, which follows this show. Retired art teacher Bob Curtis has been graciously accepting this challenge for many years. We are very fortunate for Bob's expertise. He is the best, and we are grateful. The selected two-dimensional works are matted and framed professionally, compliments of the Dearborn Community Arts Council. Three-dimensional awardees received gift certificates, compliments of our local Blick Artist Supply Store and the Dearborn Community Arts Council. These works are returned to the students after the Dearborn Artist Show in the fall. I'd like to mention that this year's design for our postcard was created last year by 12th grader Noor Aoun at the Michael Berry Career Center. Is Noor here? Well, thanks to her. Anyway, it's a great design. Now, let us get to the awards. Please stand when your name is called. The Juror's Choice Awards are in the kindergarten to second grade category, two-dimensional, a watercolor by Africa Cassidy, a first grader from Duval. Ms. Doman is her art teacher and Year of the Monkey. There she is. In the three-dimensional category uh, in this age group, is a mixed media clay piece by Hashem Dakrub, a first grader from Howard. Ms. Thomas is his art teacher. The title is My Bird. Hashem, where are you? In the third to fifth grade grouping, the two dimensional artwork. Is, called, is a self-portrait by Sam Roberts, a fifth grader at Lindbergh. Ms. Dolman is his art teacher. <laughs> the three-dimensional artwork in that grouping is by Merim Elsa Gear, a third grader at Becker. Ms. Tzinski is her art teacher. It's a ceramic piece by the name of Taco Fish. In the sixth to eighth grade category, the two-dimensional artwork uh, from that grouping is by Jana Ghoul, an eighth grader. It's an oil pastel watercolor. Um, she's from Eunice. Uh, middle school, Ms. Kobasi is her art teacher. The title is Flower. The three-dimensional artwork from that group is by Matilda Wojtowicz, a seventh grader from uh, Bryant. It's a mixed media piece. Ms. Rayner is her art teacher, and Flag Book is the name of it. In the ninth and 10th grades, the two-dimensional artwork is by Zahra Shiraza, a ninth grader. It is untitled, a beautiful charcoal work. Dearborn High School is her school, and Ms. Cassidy is her art teacher. The three-dimensional artwork from that group is by Adziri Perez, a 10th grader, another ceramic piece from Dearborn High School. Ms. Domino is that person's teacher, and uh, Under the Sea is the name of the artwork. In the 11th and 12th grade, the two-dimensional artwork is by Aya El Mokadam, a 12th grader at Michael Berry Center. Uh, it's a watercolor pencil artwork. Mr. Aquino is her art teacher, and the title of the work is Seashell. <laughs> the 
The three-dimensional piece from that grouping is a, a jewelry piece by Sa Sarah Almarezi, a 12th grader from Fortson. Ms. Patrick is her art teacher. The artists in the special needs grouping, the two-dimensional artwork is by Abdul Salam Ahmed, a Mosai student from Snow. Ms. Zecker is his art teacher, and the title of the work is Pink Flower. And the 3D artwork is, Robbie, is by Robbie Almandine, Alamadine, a Mosai student from Howe. I am his art teacher. It is an, a, an untitled relief sculpture. <laughs> this year's Superintendent's Award is an abstract oil pastel by Ayat Alhuri, an eighth grader from Lori. Alex Goki is her art teacher. Inside the Pajeski Gallery, there are displays areas dedicated to our senior artists, one each from Dearborn, Edsel Ford, and Fordson High Schools, and the Michael Berry Center. These seniors are chosen by their art teachers for their outstanding work and growth accomplished during their four years in high school art program. Today, we recognize from Dearborn High, Nadia Abu Murad. From Edsel Ford, Tyler Bankey. From Fordson, Juliana San Roman. And from the Michael Berry Center, Dahlia El Mokadam. These senior artists will each speak about their artistic vision today at 5.30 inside the gallery. Stanford professor Elliot Eisner argued that a curriculum including the arts is essential to developing development of critical thinking skills in our children. His 10 lessons the arts teach, in his 10 lessons the arts teach he details fundamental differences between the arts and much of the rest of the curriculum. Cindy Myers Foley of the Columbus, Columbus Museum of Art describes in her TED Talk that teaching for creativity develops learners who think like artists, who are creative, curious questioners, playing with and developing ideas. Students involved in arts programs are three times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement, election to class office, awards for writing, awards for attendance, and participation in a science fair. Students in the arts outperform their non-arts peers on the SAT by 91 points. Students in arts programs are 44% less likely to use drugs than their non-arts peers. Jobs in the arts industry are set to increase 16% in the next 20 years. The best answers are not on the test. They are in the creative adventures we engage in daily, however mundane or earth-changing they might be. Author Stephen Pressfield writes, creative work is not a selfish act or a bid for attention on a part of the actor. It's a gift to the world and every being in it. Don't cheat us of your contribution. Give us what you've got. Once again, Congratulations to all the young artists and the art teachers for another successful citywide art show. May I please have only the students whose names I just called come up on stage for a photo opportunity. 
Thanks to everyone for participating. Enjoy the show. Hi, everyone. One thing Kate didn't tell you is this is her last art show with us. Um, she is retiring. I don't know if that's public, but it is now. Um, sorry. Uh, but everybody in this room, Kate, thanks you. Everybody in this community and the Dearborn Public Schools for your commitment to everything that you do for all of us in the arts. And from the art department, we love you. We want only the best for you. And we thank you for your friendship, guidance, and leadership. Thanks. Go out, the gallery is open now, and go tour the gallery and enjoy the show. Thank you.